Happy March, Capricorn. Happy March. Already. I, I just can't even believe it. Oddly, I still feel like Christmas was just here, but I probably said that last month, too. Okay. Uh, sun, moon, and rising, guys, if you choose, um, I would strongly suggest it, giving the wallop of this full moon here. I'm doing these videos the day uh, after the full moon uh, to try to get us. I don't think we're going to even need to be close to this full moon to still pull on this, but um, I think this is just ample opportunity to forget the things that we need to know and the things that that need to be uncovered, right? So here we go. I also, guys, since uh, you all are just such troopers with the sun, moon, and risings, uh, what I'm doing is using a few different decks. So don't think that I want to bump it up for you a little bit so you're not seeing the same cards over and over again. Uh, don't think you, you know, launch to, to somewhere else. I'm just using some different decks here. So spice it up for you a little bit. Okay. All right. The overall energy here is... Goodness gracious, is the five of coins. This deck is in Russian, guys, so I'm just trying to show you the picture. I don't think you'll see the words. Okay, this is the five of coins. This is, uh, you took a financial hit in a, in a big way. This is uh, loss of a job, illness, something big. Uh, this card comes up when... Uh, your relationship is being taxed basically because of outside circumstances, nothing to do with you, you know, you guys personally. It's just, it's uh, either, you know, a foreclosure or something monetary really uh, knocked you off your footing is what this card is about. Um, an investment gone bad. This is, this is a big financial loss though. This isn't just something little. This is, uh, this is, that's what it is. It's it's just that's the energy overall of here. So we'll figure out what's going on here. Okay. The past you've got the two of wands. Okay. okay. That's a bold move uh, with something. You may have invested in something. You may have uh, just jumped into something without seeing uh, the consequences that may have come from it, that might be what this is about here. Um, okay. Okay. So that's what that is. It's about making a bold move, um, but maybe not thinking it through fully. Okay. In the present circumstance, you've got the two of swords. Okay. That is. Uh, it's it's a it's an agreeing to disagree. It's a compromise. It's uh you know it's the lesser of two evils, so to speak. It's uh not agreeing with someone, but it's just you just at this point need to agree to disagree. It's at a crossroads, and this was the best solution that you're you're uh, able to come to at the moment. With that card, I'm gonna say. Make sure that in that compromise and in that agreeing to disagree, you're being heard. And it's not just something that is to keep the peace for the moment. If that's the case, uh, don't do that. If, it's, if it really is just the lesser of two evils right now and it's not going to make a really big difference, then I would say, okay. Um, but, but the key to that is to make sure you're heard in that conversation, okay? The future, you've got the Ace of Swords. So you've got the Two of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Okay. The Ace of Swords is uh, cutting through the stuff to see clarity. Um, I think you may be uh, paying closer attention now to whatever this was and whatever this uh, was. Um, this may also, swords are about uh, communication. You may be. Uh, uh, making some kind of payoff or something that uh, you're not thrilled about, but it's the lesser of two evils, again, I'm going to say, do your homework here. Make sure that it really is the lesser of two evils, and you're not getting yourself in more trouble. Um, 
But the Ace of Swords is about uh, truth and clarity. So if there's something there and you do your homework, do, do your due diligence, This will you'll find it. It'll appear. Okay. The focus card is the King of Coins. This is good news, guys. King of Coins. Okay. This is, like I say, my Tony Soprano card. Uh, you'll figure out a way to financially get back on your feet here. Um, this is someone when need be can be a little... Uh, uh, you know, he's got some sass to him. But this is also someone, this is a walk the walker, okay? This is someone that's going to get it done. It may not be uh, the nicest person, but do you really care? No, you just want someone to help you right now. And I think that that's what that is. That may be a financial advisor. Um, it's someone who's been down the road before that can actually help you. Okay. This is the Five of Cups. Mm. Seeing a theme here. It's not a wonderful one. That's the Five of Cups. That is uh, something coming to light. Uh, that, that, uh, It basically breaks your heart, is what it is. It's uh, finding out that, you know, uh, there was an infidelity or uh, you find something out like that and then you're confronting the person or the person confronts you because they know you already know. It's that kind of deal. That's the obstacle position. And I'm going to guess since there's some kind of financial issue here too, something may have gone awry. This normally will come up around infidelity, but it's also an emotion card. So something, uh, it could be your relationship takes a hit due to this financial kind of something or other, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean that it's that. It could be someone just made a bad investment somewhere, and now you're just finding out about it because you're seeing these things come in the mail. That could be it too, okay? Something is being brought to light, like I said. Something is going to show itself and be clear, um, And that's what that's about. It is it is the grief card, though. It's that five of, of cups. Um, it's the consequence of something. Um, given you've got the two of wands and the two of swords, it could be uh, just a cluster of those two, two of, of them, you know. The blessing card is the magician. Very nice. Okay. The magician is uh, law of attraction, manifestation. Focus on how you get yourself out of this and focus only on that. The rest of the stuff, let it fall by the wayside right now. This, whatever it is, be it financial or be it uh, an indiscretion in a relationship or both, um, this is a good card to have in the blessing position because it means you'll get uh, you'll figure out a way to get yourself out of this. And you've got the Ace of Swords, and you've got uh, the King of, of... This is a... This is... You're going to get help here, okay? These are great cards to have. Ace of Swords, King of Coins, Magician, okay? All great ways. All great people in your corner here. Or all great ways that you'll figure out to get yourself out of this. Okay. The outcome card is the six of wands. I'm sorry, the six of swords. Okay, that is the card of putting some distance between you and whatever the heck this is. Um, you need a break. You need to just get away for a little bit. It could be that you just decide to to, to go somewhere for a little bit, um, but it's it's just taking a break uh, from this. It's just too much, is what it is. Okay, let's see what it is get some more clarity for you here. I tend to think this is a combination and it just spiraled out of control. I think it may have been a financial issue uh, that uh, eventually 
uh, ran over into the relationship. This energy, this five of, of uh, coins here, that's normally uh, when it comes up in, in a relationship read or something like that. It's a card of the relationship, uh, you know, the couple being strained, yes, because they've got outside forces against them, you know, houses and finances, and something took a big hit. Someone got sick, someone lost a job, something like that, and it eventually trickles back to the relationship. It doesn't start there. Uh, with the other five of coins here, or five of, of cups here, that is grief over something, over a consequence that uh, now is taking a hit to the relationship. So it's kind of a double whammy here. So I'm not sure what, what if the cart or the horse came first here. Either way, it's, it's not pretty. I think it may have been uh, someone jumped the gun in the past as, you know, either in a relationship or something financial, and now uh, this is it. Two, fives are, you've got two of them here. You've got two fives, which are uh, misuse of power in some way, and you've got two twos, which is, uh, it's uh, trying to balance some stuff. It's, it's just, you've got a lot of instability here, and you've got a lot of, uh, it, you know, just not, not great forces working with you right now. We'll leave it at that. Okay. Something was kept from you. Um, and again, I want to say authority figure. This is, uh, I think this is something with a, I think it may have started with a, uh, Financial, it could be a court case, it could be something, but I think that it started there. Um, the good news is, if this is a settlement, if something is coming out of a settlement here, that was the cat's tail, don't panic. Um, if something is coming out of a settlement, all of this, you're, it, it, you've got good fortune here surrounding whatever this uh, hit you took around your home financially is. Okay, you've got good fortune coming on that. It may be a lawsuit, it may be, like I said, a payoff of something. A, uh, what do you call uh, um, when you settle something that that's better than not paying something like that? Mm. In the back, in, in what surrounds this, the two of wands, which we had in, you know, was something that may have not been thought out too too clearly. I think that uh, it was a relationship. I think you may have jumped into something because there's a man and a woman sitting around uh, what they thought they could trust each other. So I think that someone may have just not known that someone either had financial baggage or uh, I think that that is what it is, though. I think a relationship that rushed into. Okay, and I do think it is around, uh, it's taken a hit on around your home which you already knew. Okay. All right, someone is up to no good here, so I think that maybe I just pray that you already know about this and aren't just finding about this now because someone just really was not honest. You're going to find out about this, though, because I do see messages coming around this in the future. Um, and I think it surrounds that that uh, Ace of Swords, that Joan of Arc card. I think that there's a lot more here that you're about to find out. If you're in the middle of a court case and you're missing information, it's going to – someone is going to find it here somewhere, something, because you've got, you know, authority figures. And I think this is bigger than just – The good news is uh, around this king of coins, the money maker here, you've got the sun card, which means that you'll be, you'll be, it's a card of success. Um, it throws light on a situation. So something that's not seen will be seen. You'll figure it out. Um, but it's the end of something, end of a job, end of a relationship. Um, yeah. 
Okay. You're going to get news, too, around this Five of Cups, which to me is normally the infidelity card. Um, so you're going to, you're going to, you're going to get news around that. Delivery of news. You've got two news around that. So there may be missing links. You may have heard part of the story, but a lot more is going to come out around that, okay? Choices and decisions. I see a timing card around, too, this magician who's showing up in the blessing position. I think whatever this is, everything is going to be out on the table within a month. By the end of March, you're going to have all your detail on this. Yep. There's marriage and betrayal in here, so something went terribly wrong here. Yeah, I see, again, you've got the Six of Wands, I'm sorry, the Six of Swords here, which is taking a break from all of this. It's just too much. It's moving away. It's distancing yourself from this. And the cards that I pulled the Lenormand to get more clarity on this, you've got the same exact cards. So you need a break here. Okay. Again, I wish I had better news, uh, Capricorn. I, I do not. Um, uh, if you want to reach out for me for more clarity on this, please visit my website. I'd be more than happy to shed some light on this for you. I tend to think it's pretty cut and clear, though. Um, it was a, It's a double whammy is what it is. Um, so, okay, we're going to – that was, again, my cat. Please don't, <laughs> don't freak out. Uh, okay, so we're going to leave it at that. Again, uh, I hope I have helped you in some way. I, I dare to even think that this wasn't pleasant, but – uh, sometimes knowing things, uh, actually always knowing things is better than not, okay? So um, I'm going to leave it at that. Happy March. I hope I've helped you in some way. Again, if you want something uh, more specific to yourself, this was general, a little intense, but it was general. Um, please reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to do that for you, okay? Thank you so much.